Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be telling you all about my recent trip to Greece. It was an adventure filled with unexpected twists, breathtaking beaches, and unforgettable experiences. But let's start from the very beginning. Our trip began in the city that we live in, in Philadelphia, USA, with high hopes and excitement for European adventure. First, we flew to Ireland, where we chose Dublin as our European hub. By the way, you can check out my Irish vlog. I'll leave the link in the description for you to check out. Our original plan was to head to Athens and explore the Greek islands, but my husband James gets seasick, so the ferry wasn't an option. And the flight tickets to Athens were super expensive during the season. So I started looking for alternative options and stumbled upon $100 tickets to not so popular Greek city, Thessaloniki. I was really determined to go to Greece, okay? We booked our flight with Ryanair, known for its budget friendly prices, but little did we know that cheap tickets meant cheap service. The flight was without a doubt the worst I've ever experienced. The flight started off well, we even got a glimpse of the Alps. But as we approached Greece, things took a terrifying turn when we tried to land during a rare Mediterranean hurricane. Yeah, last remains of a thunderstorm to move, we were just passing through. Uh, we're hoping now it uh, should be looking better. Uh, we're going to start the next approach, you can expect to land in the next uh, five minutes. Uh, so far, please uh, sit back, uh, put your seatbelt fastened, and please follow the instructions of the camera. You can expect to land in five minutes, thank you very much. The pilot attempted to land, but the turbulence was unbearable. After a failed attempt, we circled over a sea in a dark, shaking cabin, for what felt like an eternity. The atmosphere in the cabin was tense with occasional screams during turbulence and the pilot even admitted he had no plan. After 10 nerve-wracking minutes, the pilot announced that we would land in a different country, Bulgaria. But at that point, I was just grateful to have my feet on solid ground. We are going to land shortly, so please, you must keep your devices switched off or on in, in flight mode, thank you. Holy shit. After landing, Ryanair provided us with a hotel, but the next day we were left to figure out our own way to Greece. It was a challenge that cost us money, missed reservations, lost time, and immense stress. Ryanair has denied leaving us there and refused to provide any type of compensation. With no local money or language skills, we hopped on the bus to Thessaloniki, which took us about 8 hours and was less than comfortable. To make matters worse, we got sick during the journey. After a long journey, we finally arrived to Thessaloniki and spent the night there. The city was chaotic and packed with people and scooters, so we rented a car and headed to our ultimate destination.
What is Greece without beautiful beaches? We found Halkidiki, a stunning region in northern Greece, known for its three peninsulas, Cassandra, Cetonia and Athens. We chose Cetonia for its laid-back vibe and beautiful beaches with a view of Mount Athens. But before reaching our destination, we couldn't resist stopping at Paradise Beach, which inspired our choice. We were welcomed by a stunning spot with turquoise waters, white stone beaches, and a fragrant pine forest. It was a paradise indeed. Finally, we reached our destination, the small seaside village of Sarti. Our stay was simple yet comfortable, with a balcony that offered majestic views of Mount Athos. So we're finally going out for dinner to try some Greek cuisine and let's see what we're gonna have. Oh. Hi kitty! After settling we discovered a charming family-owned taverna with traditional Greek vibes offering great prices and even some complimentary treats. I like this one, no? Made the tree. So we got our appetizers and drinks. This is red wine and delicious beer mimosas with fish roe salad and some tzatziki. So I got pork souvlaki. Hole in the car. Huh? They brought us a little complimentary dessert called halva. We were amazed by how fruits were just growing everywhere. Free for taking. We even got to enjoy some ripe figs from the tree right above us. So we're here on the beautiful coast of Greece in Halkidiki in our room on the balcony and about to try some Greek pastries. So let's see what we have. What are you having? Cheese pie. 
sweet? No. No? It's like savory. Like feta? A little bit, yeah. I have a local dessert called Bugatsa. One is with vanilla and another one is feta. I guess I expected them to cut it up, but... And right here, we have very rich chocolate cake. Can't wait. Next morning, we had some coffee and baked goods from the bakery we had downstairs of our suite. It was pretty good, but too much dough in my opinion. After breakfast, we explored the incredible beaches of Setonia, including Orange Beach. It offered the perfect combination of sand, rocks, and crystal clear waters. We explored the village filled with retailers, markets, and even stray cats and dogs. It was a vibrant atmosphere. We explored local stores and discovered an array of wine, spirits, and olive oil sold by the leader. It was a unique find. After a long day, we dined at the beachfront restaurant, the prices were unbeatable, and the locals were incredibly friendly. Their kitchen is literally across the street. I'm cooking a minute. And they brought us complimentary shots. It smells like moonshine, I'm not gonna drink it. So I got chicken soup because we're sick. It's gonna help. We got bruschetta for appetizers and octopus salad. I asked for Maya for my soup. Good? Ordering, but you know you ordered too much. 
This is octopus salad. They said they cleaned the octopus because I hate not clean the octopus when it's all gooey. with onions and red peppers so good it was like three years for the full picture of this wine I got red sweet wine I got Neapolitan pasta and you got what? Penny? Penny, penny pasta or something. Who comes to greasy pasta? Yeah. This is the song of my childhood. It's good. It's very good. They brought us like panna cotta dessert. Complimentary. Something we didn't order. With cherry flavor. How is it? Yep. Day three, after exploring the beach of Sarti, we found ourselves back at the same beachfront restaurant for lunch. After a delicious lunch, we explored other beaches and even stumbled upon a private beach just for the two of us.
For dinner, we tried a small taverna called Yargakis, known for its great reviews and affordable prices. We savored sweet red wine, appetizers, and even full fried dorada fish. So we got fried calamari, tarama salad, and gyro pita. Got water, two coffee, fresh peas, orange juice, feta pie, and feta spinach pie. And it all came to 11 .81. Our fourth day in Greece began with breakfast at the bakery by our hotel. Then we returned to Orange Beach to soak up the sun. After exploring Suetonia Peninsula, we witnessed a stunning sunset with the local kitty.
Then we dined at the local taverna that served a variety of Greek dishes, including the freshest fish, souvlaki, and much-needed soup. It was a perfect end to our trip. Our last morning, we had some crepes for breakfast and plucked a pomegranate from a tree near our hotel before saying goodbye to our vacation. Despite the rough start and falling sick during our trip, Greece welcomed us with open arms. The food was incredible and we even picked up some local honey and olive oil as souvenirs. Unfortunately, after a bad flight experience, I've developed fear of flying, so uh, I don't think we're going to return to Greece anytime soon. Uh, neither are we going to fly anywhere else. I'm traveling just by car from now on. Thanks, Ryanair, for that. So, if you had any travel mishaps or want to share your favorite beach destination, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for joining me on this unforgettable journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for more content from me. Until next time, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.